In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the free version of the Cami extension to have students annotate text. So usually in a Google Doc, if I wanted the students to annotate, I set it up so that there's a margin uh, with text. So on the last assignment, I wanted the students to annotate the expression, nothing puzzles God. So use the keyboard shortcut, type in nothing puzzles God. They find the text where it is. They highlight that text. And in the margin, they're supposed to explain why he uses it. So you would say, Jonathan, So they would annotate why uh, he said it in that section. But you can see how I used the Google Doc features to do this. Now let's say if I wanted the students to do it with a PDF. Now I'm going to assign a PDF for the students in Google Classroom. Now I'll make a copy for each student. And I want to assign it to my students. Make sure I give it a topic and grade category as usual and a rubric because the rubric makes it so that you can grade it easily when it's on that four point scale that I've been using with my colleagues and your due date. I'll assign it. And then I'll go to the student view. And you can see I have that your work here. I'll click on it. And I'm going to open with Cami. It'll ask you to authorize with your Google account. Then you're going to use the drawing tool this time. And I advise changing it from a one to a six. You could also do the highlight markup tool if you wanted to highlight the text, but I think the kids would like to more draw around the text. And just like I did in the Google Doc when I did the controller feature, I can do that in Cami as well. You could see again by doing that that feature popped up so i'm going to take my drawing tool i'll circle the expression and this time i'm going to create a text box in this box here and i would have my annotation there you could also do it as a comment if you wanted you can comment on the text now what i'm going to do instead of the turn in feature
see how the if I hit that turn in feature, I would have to do the paid version of the app. Instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to download, download with annotations. And see my annotations appear on this document. Then what I'll do is back as the student, I'll add or create my file. I'll upload it. And you see I have my Kami export as the student version with her annotations. I'll hit turn in. Go back to the teacher view. See the assignment was turned in. You can see there's two attachments for the student. I'm going to go to the Kami export version. That's her version with the annotations. And you can see that the annotations appear.